Hello, Hopkinton High School. I'm Chris Pomeroy, and welcome to HHS Today. This news and info program will connect you to what's happening at HHS and bring you stories on people and activities that you might not have known about. We have five minutes, so let's get started. Our first feature will be a regular segment called The Five Second Interview. You may have seen us at lunch during last week, gathering interviews. Hi guys, I'm Declan for HHS Today, and today's five second interview is, if you could change one thing about the high school, what would it be? Having air conditioning. <laughs> to kick Jane out. I think that we should kick Anna out. All right. <laughs> More lunches. I would change the fact that everyone is so worried about going to college. I would add escalators because it would be way more convenient. To build the lazy river. Starbucks in the school store. I would rather come in around 9.30 instead of 7.30. If I were to change one thing, it would be the food. Diversity and dances. Um, I'd like re recess. Everyone being able to leave for studies and less homework. I would change the uh, lack of parking for the students at the high school. Um, I'd have to say curriculum. Um, the homework. I would bring back dances for everybody. I would change the water fountains. I mean, they're kind of gross and the water's warm. I would change the paint colors. Better vending machines. I would say we should have food in advisory. Now that was less than half of the interviews we've gathered, and we just couldn't fit them all in. To see the answers, including this guy, wouldn't that be cool? Visit our webpage at hcam.tv slash hhstv where you'll find everything we're up to and how to connect with HHS today. Now here's our next segment, A Minute with the Principal. Hello HHS, I'm Mr. Bishop and I'm excited for our first segment of Minute with the Principal. You know that the uh, first semester has just ended. Uh, I want to thank you for a great semester. I appreciate your attitude and your effort. Uh, hopefully your hard work paid off in your exams as we'll be posting grades on Monday the 8th. This week we'll be spending time in class meetings talking about the course selection process for next year. Uh, so be sure to check out for information that we send through emails as well as class meetings. Also this Friday, we have a Be Free Winter Coffee House at the new Center for the Arts uh, right over here on school campus. It's $5 for admission and it starts at 7 p.m. So I hope to see you all there. I want to highlight a few students that have really gone above and beyond. Uh, we had three Scholastic Writing Award recipients, freshman Priya Hegde and seniors Jack Rooney uh, and Haley Wigington, so congratulations to them. Um, Bella Chromodomos was selected to the All-State Festival Chorus on March 12th at Symphony Hall, which is a great accomplishment, so congratulations to her as well. Some track athletes setting school records, we had Isabella Giordano, who's a junior, a junior, and Michael Cuthbert, a senior, both setting school records for our winter track team, so congratulations to them as well. And that's it for me. Have a great day, everybody. Go Hillers. Thanks to Mr. Bishop for appearing on our show. We'll have more segments with him in the future. Now, our goal is to connect you to the HHS community, and we're going to be interviewing some school clubs so that you can see what you're missing. This week, we start with the Investment Club. We meet on Thursdays from 2 to 3 in Mr. Spiegel's room, room 207. We basically want to give kids a basic education on investing. Anyone can come, anyone can sign up for the club. If someone w would wanted to join, they would probably first send me an email or they can just show up here on Thursdays. When you get started, you'd be signing up on our online simulator and people will actually be trading using fake money, and I'll go over some lessons occasionally on how to trade and what you do when you're trading. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay in the stock market. You know, we had a little bit of turmoil at the beginning. We didn't do so, uh, so well, but that's, I think, part of what investing is. I hope students uh, not only can they have fun and, you know, be with friends, have a great time, but they can learn something that will help them throughout the rest of their life, and whether you're actively trading in the stock market or you're putting money into your 401k. Investing is something that everyone is going to do at some point. That's another segment where we couldn't fit everything in, so check us out online to see the entire interview and find out how the members of the investment club are doing. Coming up next, it's time for you to do some sleuthing. This is a regular feature and it's called, Have You Seen This? This is a photo of somewhere in the school. Do you know where it is? Send us an email at hhstv at hillers.org and tell us where it is and you might win a prize. And now, it's time for our last segment, the WHBS Sports Minute. Good morning, Hopkinson High. I'm Matt Bird. And I'm Will Puella with the WHBS Sports Minute. In sports action last week, varsity hockey earned a playoff spot with a win over Dover Shoreborn, 3-1. to 
Cam from Layson scored, and DJ Sloan got two goals. Acebet fell to a solid 6-0 win for the Hillers. Goaltender Tim McGrath got the shutout. Swim and Dive had a great effort from the entire team, but took a tough loss to Ashland, 92-91. Boys and girls basketball were victorious over Millis, boys 57-52, and girls 48-45. Both boys and girls varsity basketball took losses to Medway, 73-54 for the girls and 59-36 for the boys. That's last week's Hiller highlights. Well, what's coming up next in the world of Hiller sports? The boys varsity ice hockey team takes on Halston on Wednesday and Bellingham on Saturday. The boys and girls varsity basketball teams have games against Medfield on Monday and Friday against Bellingham. The swim and dive team has a meet for the TVL title on Saturday and Sunday. The wrestling team has a dual meet on Saturday at North Andover. The girls ice hockey team has a game on Monday against Medway Ashen and a game on Wednesday against King Phillip. Check them out and support the Hillers. Now back to the anchor desk. Thanks, guys. And thanks to Mr. McFarland for helping us produce that segment. And that's a wrap for our first HHS today. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with a new episode. Meanwhile, if you have seen the Have You Seen This Photo or to watch full-length versions of our segments, make sure to visit hcam.tv slash hhstv. We'd also like to hear from you. Tell us what you think of our show and what we should cover, or tell us about what you've got going on at Hopkinton High. On behalf of everyone here at HHS-TV, I'm Chris Pomeroy. Good luck out there.